hey y'all welcome back to my channel i'm going to show you how i bleached my knots for this wig that i wore in my previous video i know i probably should have done this before the install but i'm still learning and teaching myself about this wig life but first i start with taking my 30 volume developer and applicator brush and what i'm going to do before using the bleach powder is just apply the pure developer onto the lace part of the wig i actually saw this either on a tiktok or instagram video of this girl who does this step before bleaching the knots so i decided to try it too in her video she did mention that it just loosens the knots so after it's all applied I just let it sit for 10 minutes what I do to keep the developer from going through the lace onto the hair is just flip the wig back to how it's supposed to be and put a washcloth inside of it with the opening of the wig face down and after 10 minutes I just rinse it off and now I'm ready to start mixing the bleach I got this bleach from the beauty supply store I'm pretty sure most of y'all already have seen this brand before but I just got the small packet since the area that I'm bleaching is small and I mix it with the 30 volume developer you want this bleach mixture to be fairly thick, not too thick to where it just sits on top of the lace without processing, but not too loose to where it just bleeds through the lace and also bleaches the hair strands. Mine was slightly loose and I feel like I actually had the perfect consistency, but I just ended up adding a little bit more developer and that just loosened it up, but it did still work. So I carefully and evenly apply the bleach onto the lace and when I'm doing it, I'm not adding much force because you don't want to press this mixture through the lace. So just be kind of gentle and coat it with a light hand. Once the bleach is applied to the entire lace section, I just take some aluminum foil to the inside of the wig with a washcloth and flip the wig back over to process for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so after I've rinsed off the bleach, this is how it looks. So like I mentioned, my bleach mixture was a little bit looser than it probably should have been. So it did seep through the lace and lifted the hair at the root of the tracks, but I'll show you how I fixed that later. So next I just washed the lace with my purple shampoo and let it air dry. Now that the hair is dry, I take my Gotta Be Glued Free Spray and coat the lace with it. To fix my bleached roots, I'm using the Adore Creative Image Hair Dye in the color 120 Black Velvet. And as always, I mix it with a little bit of conditioner and I just start applying it to the root of the tracks that got bleached. As I was dyeing the roots, I did notice the original color of the wig was like a dark brown, so I didn't want the roots to be black and the rest of the hair dark brown. So you'll see me go in all over this wig with the black velvet hair dye. I really like how black hair looks on me anyway, so I was honestly excited to dye this wig. After I finished applying the dye to the entire wig, I just put a shower cap over it and let it process with heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. Y'all have seen many hair dyeing videos on my channel if you've been subscribed for a while. If not, go ahead and check out some of my older videos on my channel. But after I processed it with heat, I just washed, air dried, and straightened the wig to reinstall it. And this is how it came out. Like I mentioned in my previous video installing this wig, this was my first official wig install and this picture that you're seeing here is the same wig but the second install and I really think it came out way better than it did the first time so I was really happy with this outcome this time. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video today. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my socials and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!